Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a nerd, I am a Twitch streamer, I am a cat mom, I am a washed up athlete, and I love learning new things. And the entire purpose of this channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, bands, and artists that I have never heard of before. And so today we are listening to a completely new artist that I swear I have never listened to a single song by them before. And that is Pink Floyd and the song is Comfortably Numb. If you are new here, I do not have much experience with music. I really haven't listened to that much my entire life. And so I am really trying to deepen my relationship with music and expand my boundaries with it. And Pink Floyd has been recommended to me time and time again, especially in my Led Zeppelin videos. And this song Comfortably Numb, I have... I swear I have never heard of it before and Pink Floyd in general I really haven't listened to, at least not intentionally. So I'm really excited to dive into them today. I'm going to be honest, I have heard of Pink Floyd, but I do not know any song by them. I could not tell you a beat or a melody by this band. And yeah, I, I mean, maybe I have heard them in passing, but I definitely have never put on a Pink Floyd song and jammed out to it. So I'm super excited to see what they're all about today. So just a disclaimer before we begin, I am not a musically savvy person, nor have I ever been trained in music. So if I say something that is not musically correct, please be sure to correct me in the comments, but cut me some slack. I'm just enjoying my journey and I'm really, really learning so much by posting videos and interacting with you all here. So thank you all so much for being here. So without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Wow. Wow. I love their harmonies. Wow. The days and ships on the horizon. You are only come through in waves. Oh my gosh, he sounds amazing. You live smooth, but I can't hear what you say. When I was a child, I had a fever. My hands look just like two balloons. My God. Now I've got that feeling once again. I can't explain. You will not understand. This is not how I am. This voice is going to make me cry. It sounds so beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I have to stop it right there for a second. Oh my gosh, this is such a warm, overwhelming feeling I am experiencing right now just with this performance. I don't know the lead singer's voice, but his voice is so overwhelming, but warm and fuzzy, and it made me emotional, like I was tearing up there. This whole entire intro to this song, it's only been three minutes, but oh my gosh, I am totally into it. I am very much captured by it, and the harmonies, the way the vocals are moving together is absolutely incredible. It's moving me like I've never felt before. It's I don't even know how to describe what I'm feeling, but we're just going to keep going and <laughs> I'm just really enjoying this right now. So let's keep going. The vocals are just killing me. <laughs> This solo is amazing. Amazing. Amazing.
guitar solo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> oh. That was that was incredible. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Well, cheers to Pink Floyd and Comfortably Numb for making me cry. This is the first song and first video I have reacted to that has made me cry on this channel. So props to Pink Floyd and Comfortably Numb. <laughs> okay, now what was that? What was that performance? I did not expect to be so moved by this performance. That was incredibly amazing. I loved the entire composition and performance from beginning to end i cannot believe how emotional i got why did i get emotional over this this was just so unexpected so amazing i've i, I i'm speechless <laughs> before we get into the music the visuals of this performance the lights the colors oh my god the the flower that came from the ceiling and just opened up and everything in between was absolutely breathtaking and gorgeous and combined with the amazing music and vocals and composition that was comfortably numb or that is comfortably numb it just it got to me it got to me this is so out of this world it was absolutely beautiful and orgasmic and just intoxicating spine tingly like <sighs> I'm out of breath, like actually, I, I just, I felt overwhelmed. I had this warm, overwhelming feeling inside me from the start. As soon as I heard those harmonies, as soon as I heard those vocals, I just felt warm. And it just kept going with that guitar solo. That guitar solo absolutely crushed it. That was the most amazing guitar solo I think I have ever seen or heard. It was absolutely, oh my God, I, I don't, I don't know how... I don't know what's going on with me. I'm literally having like a physical reaction to this song and performance. It, it, it really is funny that they named this song Comfortably Numb because that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Like that actually is the best way to describe how I'm feeling. I am comfortable, meaning I am warm, but then I am also numb, meaning I'm just like, I feel like I'm floating a little bit. I feel like I'm, I'm just on cloud nine after listening to this song. It's just... What a journey. I, I want to automatically listen to it again and again. I I have a sensation of wanting to go back and listen to those harmonies again and listen to that guitar solo and watch the performance. I just 
wow, wow, this is my first impression of Pink Floyd. Never seen them before, never really listened to their music, but I didn't expect this. Like, I don't, I don't really know how to describe this. This is just so out of this world. I did not expect this, guys. Again, this is another performance where I am so jealous of you guys that saw them live, who saw this performance live, and you got to witness this amazing guitar solo live. Like, I'm so jealous of you guys. I would love to hear your guys' stories of where you were the first time that you heard Pink Floyd for the first time. I have asked you guys this for Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. So I think it is due for Pink Floyd. I love to hear y'all stories of where you were when you were listening to them for the first time or where or where you were in your life when you heard them for the first time and how it impacted you. Those stories are always so fun to read. At the end of the day, this song really took me to another place. I felt so at peace throughout the entire song. I felt emotional throughout the entire song. It's just, this is a total experience. It's a powerful journey and I'm just so hooked on them just from this one performance. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I think I'm in love with Pink Floyd. Like, I think I don't even need to see anything else. Like, I want to see other things, but dang, like, is this what we're starting with? Is this what I'm starting with with Pink Floyd? Oh my God. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm emotional. It's just, it's just weird. I, a song has yet to move me like this yet on this reaction channel where I have actually had tears in my eyes, but this song did it without any expectations going in with Pink Floyd, without really knowing anything about them. They did it. They did it. And we have to dive into that guitar solo. Like not only were the lyrics and the singing absolutely gorgeous, that guitar solo absolutely slapped. Oh my God. That solo was absolutely beautiful. And also it just, I could just feel the passion and the soulfulness while he was playing his guitar. It just, oh my God, so much talent, so much meaning, absolutely powerful. What an amazing solo. How talented is this band? Like I just loved every part of it. The solo just absolutely... It was just the perfect ending to this song, I think. Um, we started off really peaceful, but then, you know, I just felt like the 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 guitar was speaking to me in some way. Like the like the guitar itself was singing and it it itself had its own voice and its own part in the song that was absolutely gorgeous. I could already tell that this performance is absolutely timeless. Like even now in 2023, almost 2024, when I'm reacting to this, I am absolutely mind blown by this performance. The lighting, the staging, the, the theatrics of it, absolutely incredible. Oh, how I wish I was in that crowd when you, this performance was happening. I mean, my mouth was open the entire time, jaw absolutely dropped all the way to the ground the entire performance. I just was speechless. Like I cannot, I couldn't believe my eyes and my ears of what was happening. It was just absolute perfection. I felt like I was just taken to a, an entirely new place, a whole new journey. And I felt like honestly, like a different part of my brain opened up after listening to this song. It's just, that was such an incredible experience. I, I kind of wish I could relive it again. <laughs> this song officially like just changed my mood for the night you know before I came on to start film filming I was feeling you know not the best it's been a crazy work day worked overtime just insane amount of work before the holidays and this just absolutely took all that away it took all that stress all that frustration and just blew it away and it was just so amazing to have a song do that for me like Oh my God, I don't know. I'm going to get emotional again. I'm going to start crying again. It's just, holy cow. I felt so at peace listening to this song. And I'm definitely going to be listening to it, listening to it again on my own accord, on my own time. But I am so happy I have listened to you guys and your suggestions. Oh my God, this was just, 
the best. You guys have the best taste. Thank you all so much for suggesting this. This actually was pretty life-changing. So with that, I think we will wrap this up. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you are interested in some of my other content, please be sure to check out the links in the description box. If you guys enjoyed this reaction today, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps growing content creators like me. If you guys have any more song suggestions, uh, band suggestions, artist suggestions, please be sure to sound off in the comments or join the Discord. I would love to see you guys in there where we have lots of music discussions and we just hang out in there there. We'd love to see you in there. So again, thank you all so much for watching and thank you for being on this journey with me. I really appreciate it. So I will see you in the next reaction video. Take care.